Well, boys and girls, I so wish I could stop talking about Logan Paul at this point, but he just keeps on giving us more and more content to talk about. So what is the latest? Well, as it turns out, he has abandoned his pig and blames the Matrix for it boys and girls. Now, if you've not heard of this story before, which I'm pretty sure you have, that's why you're here. He brought a pig about two years ago, which he thought was a mini pig or a teacup pig. Now, you know those pigs that are really fucking small and they are really cute on TikTok and then they run and they want belly rubs and they eat shit and then everyone's like, ah, and then they click like, yeah, those ones. Well, basically, as it turns out, those don't fucking exist. Basically, what happened was that pig got really fucking big and then Logan Paul moved houses and then obviously Pig can't go to new house. So boo, off to a sanctuary at least that's what Apparently happened because right because another sanctuary going by the name of the gentle barn has found Pur quite recently with life-threatening injuries and this is what they say she will never be alone again. Pearl was found abandoned in a field next to another pig who had died. From what we've been told, it's believed she was purchased originally from a breeder by an influencer. People often buy mini pigs or teacup pigs for clout online, believing they will stay small. When they inevitably grow very large and have many unexpected needs, they are sadly disregarded. It looks like the very much same fate happened to Pearl, but let's just dive into this a little bit because with true Logan Paul fashion, he has, of course, came to his own defense. Logan Paul explains that uh, Pearl was rehomed to an amazing ranch that I visited in Santa Clarita when I moved to Puerto Rico. I was unable to bring her to the island. She lived there happily for 10 months before the owner sold the ranch. She was rehomed, to my knowledge, to the farmer across the street. As far as I know, the farmer called the gentle barn to pick her up and denies there was a second pig. Pearl was transferred alone. This is an incredibly heartbreaking situation. I had Pearl for two years. Okay, so Logan's narrative is that he moved to Puerto Rico, which is we know is true, and that he couldn't bring the animal with him, which is, eh, uh, with the resources he has, I don't know. Anyway, apparently then he visited a ranch in Santa Clarita, which he personally made sure that the pig was gonna be happy there, which I call bullshit, I don't think he gives a fuck. Anyway, and then he gave the pig to that ranch, which I'm not gonna say is complete lie, okay? And then he says that as far as I know, the farmer called Gentle Barn to pick her up and denies there was a second pig. So the farm as to where he brought Pearl to originally then called Gentle Barn to pick her up because the farmer couldn't house the pig for some reason. This is an incredibly heartbreaking situation. I had Pearl for two years. So now I'm not going to say that Logan is bullshitting us. However, there are a few suspicious things about this whole whole event. Okay, so suspicious thing number one. Logan Paul has expressed his gratitude towards an animal sanctuary for rehousing his pet after it was revealed the animal was found abandoned. Now, I am no Sherlock and maybe I'm the one who's misunderstanding a few things. However, if he has confirmation that this ranch where he left his pig called the Genzo Barn and there was a mutual agreement and that's the narrative he's trying to push on Twitter without actually accusing that someone may have been lying in the process, then why is he now so grateful that they found Pearl abandoned? It's a little bit convenient how Logan Paul is just going along with this wave of Oh my god, this story is heartbreaking, da 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 Even though he contacted the previous ranch who apparently called the Gentle Barn. So which is true? Because, because right now Logan Paul is feeding into two narratives, one of them is which the communication was already done and everything was going fine and the other narrative is where he's going with the nation where he's like oh my god this is such a heartbreaking story how could this happen i'm so fucking grateful for the gentle barn for doing this that's already two narratives that make me a little bit suspicious but listen it's not about what i think it's about what you think so let's see what you guys the people of the internet think about this okay so here's a comment, um, another person who doesn't understand that a pet is a decade or more commitment. I'm so tired of this. I've had two dogs abandoned on me this year, both under two years old. Their owner claimed to love them, but seemed to have no problem walking away. Now, this is where things get a bit annoying in my eyes. I don't necessarily want to bash Logan for everything he does. However, in this situation, I think the circumstance would have allowed him to at least check up on Pearl every now and then. As this person says, it's a pet, right? It is a pet. So listen, if you have to give your dog or cat or whoever to 
to a shelter because you're financially struggling, because maybe family has changed, because you had to move, there was no other way to do it, and you're struggling. That is something I can understand. Like, unfortunately, most of us are struggling, especially in 2022-23. These years have not been kind. However, when we're talking about a person who has multi-million dollars, they need to take some sort of responsibility for the pets. And even though if, let's say, the narrative that he couldn't take Pearl with him is true. At the end of the day, how hard is it to check on it every now and then, to call up the ranch, to make sure that this whole transition uh, from, from this original ranch to the new one, you know, goes smoothly? It's not that difficult. So the fact that he didn't obviously shows that he doesn't really care, which for many people is a problem, and for me is a problem, which is why I'm making a whole video on it. But that's not even the issue here, because after all the scam allegations, after all that Logan Paul has been through for the past month or so, you would think that he would just say, listen, again, I take responsibility for Pearl, I'm really sorry this happened, I trusted the farm, I'm sorry, ultimately it's my fault, I really am sorry, I want to apologize, and I'm gonna donate, let's say, £15,000 to this French for doing an amazing job. And that would kind of like put a band-aid on it, okay? I'm not saying it would heal it, it would put a band-aid on it. What does Logan Paul actually do? He tweets, ladies and gentlemen, that's what he does. So, the Matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. Okay? That's what Logan Paul tweeted yesterday. Now, if you know a certain individual called Andrew Tate, who when he was arrested, he also said that the Matrix is after him, you know, it's not hard to link the two. How interesting that now we have Logan Paul, who is a reformed man, paraphrasing another influencer who is right now in custody, facing charges for human trafficking and sexual assault. That's very interesting, isn't it? Now. You may know someone by the name of Mutahar, or commonly known Some Ordinary Gamers, an amazing channel from Canada. Um, he actually tweets back to Logan Paul and replies, it's called personal accountability. Try it sometimes, which is just... It's so beautiful when you see that actual big influencers call out other big influencers because it kind of gives you hope that not everyone at the top is a dickhead, right? So here we are boys and girls, not only Logan Paul is in the spotlight once again, however, he responded again, in my opinion, in a very insensitive and a very weird way. Again, taking no personal accountability or any responsibility for it, um, and the problem is, a pet isn't just an object, it's not like I give it away and that's it. If I had to give my dog away, I would probably visit it every now and then, make sure it's doing okay, because I'm emotionally attached. Whether it be a dog, a cat, a fish, a turtle, whatever it is. I don't know whether you agree with me or not in this case, however, I know one thing. If you're still here and watching, you're an awesome person. Bam. Anywho, like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.